Hi everyone, good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, this is an adult only colouring channel and my videos are in no way intended for or aimed at children. Okay, so I know that I have um, filmed my August completed pages. Unfortunately, this is one of the pages that I didn't get finished. Um, I was working on it with you. This is from Seasons by Hannah Carlson and it was this page. Now, some of you may remember, I think we were working on it in a live stream if I remember rightly. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't get it finished in time for my completed pages video. Um, but I know that some of you wanted to see me finish this page on camera. So I am going to do that with you today and hopefully get this one done. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is for the background, just sort of in here, sort of inside the frame, as it were. I'm going to use some Distress inks. Um, not the Tim Holtz ones. Let me see, what are, what are these called? The um, Memento inks. These. I'm going to be using some of these for the background in here. So I'm just going to grab a couple. Um, I just want some nice sort of blue, blue and aqua maybe, look quite nice, I'll try that and see, see how we go, just looking for some smaller brushes as well, that one might be a little bit too dark, okay we'll just go with these two colours and see what we get. So the two that I'm using is the Dewdrop Multi Surface Chalk Ink in Aquatic Splash and the Memento Fade Resistant Dye Ink in Summer Sky. So these are what they look like. They're beautiful, like teardrop, teardrop shapes. And I've got one of these like makeup applicators that I was sent to use um, because these are supposed to be easier to use than the um, the applicators that like the Tim Holtz Distress Ink applicators um, and with these as well they're lovely because you get all different sizes so some of them you can really get into those little areas which is great so I am going to pull out a smaller one um, I'm going to try this one for those really fine little areas sort of like in here and you know in these little bits by his fins and things so and what I'm going to do is go in with my lightest colour first so I'm just going to get some of this chalk ink on the brush and we'll get going so how is everyone? How are you all how are you all doing? I hope you're all keeping well. I'm so sorry I've not done a colour and chat in what feels like the longest time ever. It really does feel like it's been such a long time um, since I've filmed a colour and chat. So it's really nice sort of getting to do that with you today um as a lot of you know i've i've been struggling with my mental health um and i think it's always you know it's good to be open and honest about it because i know that there's a lot of us out there who struggle and you know i think by me being open and honest about it it might help some of you feel maybe a little bit less alone um so yeah that's why I kind of you know be as honest and open as I possibly can with you okay so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit because I look a little bit far away I want you guys to be able to see what I am doing okay there hopefully that is a little bit better 
I know the lighting isn't great. It was beautiful and sunny. Um, and then as soon as I started filming a few videos, it's come over quite overcast and cloudy. But that's okay. If the lighting gets too bad, I can just put the overhead light box on. So it's no trouble. Okay, so there's the um, aquatic splash. Beautiful. Feels gorgeous. Really, really lovely. And also, I will say, these seem to seal better than um, the Tim Holtz Distress Inks because I've had quite a few where the lids on the Distress Inks, they just don't sit on. And I find that the ink from those can be quite dry. So and that's just something to be, you know, to be mindful of. So now I'm going in with the Memento Summer Sky. And I'm going to use my little... thin brush for this. I just want to make sure that I'm getting something on there. Okay, we'll see. Okay, yeah, we're getting a little bit. Not not too much. So like I said, I hope you're all Staying safe, keeping well. We've got pretty much all of the kids' uniforms now. Um, we just need to collect Tegan's school skirts because the, the schoolwear shop called us to say they are in because we had to order them. They still do not have the PE kit yet. I'm going to use a bigger brush for this one. Okay, let's try this one. Yeah, they still don't have the PE kit yet. Um, but that's okay. I mean, we've got... I'm filming this on Saturday the 29th of August. So I've got... Um, about a week and a half. But... She hasn't got it. She hasn't got it. She's just going to have to make do with her PE kit from last year. Her, her um, not her trousers, her, her shorts still fit her. They still fit her absolutely fine. Um, but it's the polo shirt and base layer that, um, that she needs. Um... And with all of the kids, all we've got left to get now is their shoes, um, which I'm meeting my mum in town on Tuesday to do that. Um, because we, we ordered the little one's uniform. We ordered that online and that arrived yesterday. And there was, there was a fair bit of stuff that we didn't have to get for a little bit because my my brother and his girlfriend, bless him, um, her youngest daughter had grown out of a lot of the school stuff. Um, and it's immaculate, there's nothing wrong with it. And some of it still had labels on, um, which is too small for her youngest, but will be great for Emmy. So yeah, they've been a really, really big help with that, bless them. So I'm really, really grateful. But we ordered Caden's trousers, polo shirts, jumpers, socks. <laughs> um, and then we ordered Emmy, um, polo shirts, polo shirts, socks, um, two cardigans. Um, but we've got plenty of like skirts and pinafores and trousers for her. We've got those like coming out of our ears. So we're fine for, we're fine for that. But oh, honestly, school uniform shopping is such a, oh, it's just so stressful. I mean, there's some things that I couldn't get in Caden's size. The jumpers, I had to go a size bigger than what I would have got anyway. And 
they are really the jumpers are really long on him but I'm like I'm sorry bud but you're just gonna have to roll up your sleeves you know I can't I can't order what they haven't got in his size if I'm wobbling the camera I'm really sorry I think I've got the tripod touching my chair so I'll try and sort that out in just a second okay I'm really liking these colours on this it looks quite nice yeah yeah I like it a bit darker here So what about you guys, if you have children, grandchildren, nieces, nephews, you know, to get uniform or whatever for, are you, are you sorted, are you done? Caden and Emmy go back to school next, no, yeah, next Thursday, which is the 3rd of September. I cannot believe we're going to be in September, that is so crazy. I just I don't know where I don't know where the time is going I really don't okay so there is that one hmm let me see okay I'm going to just grab my little pot here I'm going to use um this Tombow twin tone marker in this really beautiful turquoise colour it doesn't give us a colour or anything on it um, no it doesn't give us colours or anything excuse me but I'm just going to use a little bit of this for some of the little bits here around the edges look at that colour how gorgeous these are water-based markers and this was a, a set of pastel colors let me take them all out of their thing you can get a better a better look so these these colors aren't they gorgeous really really beautiful they're lovely i definitely need to swatch them in my um ruby charm colors um book I definitely need to do that they're beautiful I do plan on using these in um, my Lulu Mayo colouring books because I'm going through a thing at the minute I mean I always love pastel colours anyway but I'm going through a thing at the minute where I'm just sort of using like rainbow pastel colours on quite a few pages and these markers fit the bill perfectly um i'm really lucky because they were sent as a gift um quite a while ago actually from a really really good friend of mine who i i adore her she's just such a lovely lovely person and an absolute pleasure to chat to and get to know so I, i'm really proud to be able to call her my friend Okay, that's really pretty. So I'm going to use some of this down here on the bottom as well. A lot of this now is just going to be marker work. I want the fish to kind of stand out and the little crystal at the top. And then just, you know, let that kind of speak for itself. I'm debating putting a few little sparkles on there. But we'll see. We'll see. Um... Okay, so we have really nice light blue. That'll be pretty. Let's try that over here. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's beautiful. That is absolutely stunning. Can you see that colour? Oh, it's gorgeous. So what are your plans for the weekend? What are you up to? Um, we've just been sort of pottering around. And then 
Aaron took the two little ones up to the park and to the local grocery shop to get a few things for the weekend. So while he took the kids out, I grabbed that opportunity to get some videos done because I've been so, so behind on my videos. It's it's embarrassing actually how behind I've been. But I know that you, know, you guys understand, you're all fantastic. And you know, for those of you who left such lovely words of comfort and support um, on my happy mail video, I think it was. Um, yeah, I just wanna say a, a huge, huge, great big thank you so much. Um, you know your your words just they they mean everything they really do and I, I appreciate it more than I can say so yeah great big thank you to you guys for just being so amazing and so supportive and uplifting it um yeah it helps so much Who's colouring some of it in these? Whoops, oh, that wasn't very clever. That's okay. That's all right, we can go over that. It's no trouble. I'll colour this one. Oh, sounds like, um, sounds like Caden's having a bit of a moment. Try this really pretty pink colour. Um, I want to do this on this one. Oh, that's lovely. If any of you have these markers, what do you think of them? Do you enjoy using them? I don't use them anywhere near enough, but um, I'm sort of slowly working through things that, you know, I, I don't use a lot. Um, so these are the ones that I've reached for now. Do I want some of that pink down here? No, I don't think, I don't think so. Um... I'm going to put a little smidge of purple on here. Yeah, that's light enough. That's beautiful. I was a little bit worried it might come out dark, but no, that's gorgeous. Can you see that? Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. So let's do these little flowery things here with that. Um, the same on this side as well. So yeah, I'm just I'm I'm really glad that the stress of school uniforms is nearly over. We we do still have quite a bit to get, which I'm kind of I'm a little, I'm panicking a little bit, but you know I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. So I'm put those back. Um, please excuse me reaching across the camera. I'm really sorry. Okay, so I've just grabbed this container which has got um, big intensity, fine and mediums in it and a couple of stabilos. Um, just to get into some of these little fiddly areas. Oops. And then um, I'm going to pull out the gel pens. And hopefully some sparkles. Okay. So on these, I'm going to do a bit of dark green for this middle bit. I'm rubbing my hand all through the, um, through the thing. Let me see if I've got any, anything I can rest my hand on. Thank you. 
got. Whoops. <coughs> Okay, I've got a piece of card, so I'm just gonna do that and then rest my hand on top. So I'm just gonna put dark green here. And same the other side. Um, yeah, so going back to saying about, you know, what we're going to be doing the weekend. Like I said, I used the opportunity with Aaron and the kids being out to get videos done. Um, they're home now. So I'm just finishing up. And then, um... Hopefully, we can relax a little bit until it's time to get sorted for dinner tonight. Aaron and I are having chilli. Caden is going to have spaghetti bolognese and the girls are having tuna pasta. I, yeah, I know, separate meals. But, um, we would, Aaron and I would have had spaghetti bolognese as well, but we both fancied chilli. So it's no, it's it's not a problem. It's just sort of separating when we've got the base of the bolognese. It's then just kind of separating out a portion for Caden and then adding bits to ours. You know, like the kidney beans and seasoning and stuff. So well, we will be doing it that. Um, and tomorrow is probably just a housework and laundry day, I think. We've got so much laundry, it's ridiculous. Honestly, it is never-ending with laundry in this house. I don't know how the kids manage it. I really don't. I really, really don't. I mean, you guys, you know, if you've been with me for any stretch of time, you know, and I've said to you before about how much laundry, it's just bonkers um so that'll probably be our day tomorrow there are some curtains that i want to take down and wash as well tomorrow but we'll see we'll see how we get on with everything else first i think before we um decide what we're gonna do with that okay so I'm just going in with these big big intensity water based markers I'm just adding you know little details and bits and bobs on here some areas where I may add a little bit more shading with pencils but we'll see, we'll see I'm really you know I am truly sorry that I didn't get this page finished um so the HK colouring collaboration for August things just you know that month just it this month is just it's just kicked my behind it really has and like I said I've been struggling with my mental health as well my anxiety has been horrendous really awful um but you know we plod along don't we get through it as best we can Okay, hmm, I think I think I'll do those sparkly 
um, gonna do these. Do these blue. Yeah, why not? Why not? Oh, that's pretty. Okay, I like that colour. So, yeah, we haven't got, you know, much planned for the weekend. And then next week, we were, we were just going to be crazy busy trying to get the last of the kids' things for school. So it's going to be, um, yeah, it's going to be pretty hectic. There's a big part of me that is just absolutely dreading it. I'm like, I don't want to. I just want to throw my toys out the pram and stomp my feet. <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> but I know that's not possible. So I am, I am nervous. I must admit about the kids returning to school. I'm nervous, but I know that it'll do them the world of good as well, if that makes sense. You know, they, they miss all their friends so much, you know, especially the little ones. Um, and I know that they, they just can't wait to get back into school and see all their friends. So, yeah, bless them. This one isn't showing up too much, but that was okay. Do you guys want me to zoom in a bit more? Because I'm just, I've just looked through the camera on my phone and I look quite far away. I might just attach, hang on. I don't think I positioned this camera very well today. How's that? There, I think that's a little bit better. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. So let's pull out our glitter gel pens and put those away. Again, I'm sorry, excuse the arm. I'm just gonna take, whoops, I'm just gonna take a sip of my coffee. Or a big gulp. <laughs> um, okay, and I'm going to go in with some Chromatec glitter gel pens because my other ones, my um, Pentel hybrids and my Jelly Rolls, are upstairs on the art cart next to the bed. So I'm just going to use what I've got down here. And the Chromatecs are beautiful. They just they glide on the paper so smoothly. They are an absolute pleasure to use. They really are. I'll put some here as well. Yeah, they're they're gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do that. So what are you all working on at the minute? Are you colouring or crafting? Stitching, diamond painting, anything at all? I'd love to know what you're working on. Okay. And I want like a darker darker blue okay this isn't a chromatec this is just i don't know a random a random gel pen <laughs> that i found um 
So we'll put some of this down, oh come on, down here in these bits. what make this gel pen is but that's quite oh no it is a chromatech i tell a lie it is it is a chromatech i have got a blue one like this somewhere on my desk that isn't like any particular brand and um it works quite nicely actually which is nice let's do that oh i should have used the lighter glue that's okay that's okay still looks good okay and then let's go for this one for the purple up here oh that's gorgeous i love that color <gasps> that is so pretty oh i'm gonna put that down here just inside these bits that is really, really lovely. I'm sorry, I'm probably not... I haven't got you guys in frame. If I haven't, I'm really sorry. I'm doing my best, I promise. I don't even know if I've got any... Oh yeah, I have. I've got a white gel pen. Okie dokie. Um, do you know what? I'm going to put the purple up here as well. I love it. It's so pretty. So let's use it on these bits here. Lovely. Yeah, it'll be nice to get um get this page done and call it finished. There's another one that you guys voted on during a live stream, and it is from hmm, let me see. It's from Summer Nights. Um, and it's a bird sheltering um, two mice, I think, with its wings open on a branch. Really, really beautiful. Um, and that obviously, you know, because I've just not been doing great, um, that one didn't get done. But it will be. Please, you know, bear with me. That, that page will get coloured as well. Okay, let's use this. Ooh. And that is beautiful. This has actually turned out a bit more colourful than I had planned. But I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I think it's um I think it's really pretty. So I'm gonna put some of that pink here. Yeah, I'm just kind of a bit concerned that the colours that I'm putting on this now is kind of taking away from the fish and the crystal. But it's okay. At the end of the day, my lovelies, I'm having fun. <laughs> and that's what, you know, that's what this is this is for, you know. It's just to colour and have fun and relax. And, um, you know, I want to have a catch up with you guys as well. I've not spoken to you for so, so long. I've missed you. I've missed you all so much. Okay, so I'm going to go in here with, whoops, if I can get it working. Oh, is that a dark? Okay, well, I thought that was, um, I thought that was black. Maybe not. Hmm, do I have a black? Chromatech. I don't think I do. I have a black Arteza retractable gel pen. Where was I going to put this? Oh, I, I see. I see. I was going to use that in here. Okay, so this is Arteza retractable gel pen that I'm using at the minute. Okay. I'm really sorry about me moving the book around everywhere. 
okay maybe a few like dark bits might help sort of bring in the little hints of black that we've used on the fish so let's try that do you know what i'm going to be here all day with that let's grab my trusty papermate flare let's do that i love these so much okay so we'll do that again here so normally I just sort of I don't plan what I'm going to colour for the month I normally just sort of see what I feel like at the time but but <laughs> today when I was putting my books away after I had filmed my August completed pages I was just looking through some colouring books and thinking, wow, I've not coloured in this one or I've got a whip in that one. And I've actually pulled out some books that I would really like to colour in for the month of September. And I never do that. Never. Do, do you guys do that? Do you sort of pull out books that you want to work on that month or do you just sort of see how you feel at the time? Like I said, I'm not normally one for, for planning what I'm going to colour but yeah I've pulled out quite a few books um I hadn't planned on a colour along for September because October for me is is like the the big one that's the um Carloween and I usually co-host that with Shilling from the colouring book nook um so I'm going to message her and see if you know she wants to co-host again with me this year if, if we do this will be the third year that would do Carla Wing. I'm so excited. I love it. Absolutely love it. So basically, Carla Wing is um, for the whole month of October, and we colour from any of Carla Magana's books. And it always seems to be such a huge success, and I love that. I really do. It just it makes me feel really proud that you know we sort of started something that lots of people really enjoy i'm just looking for a green in my chromatech oh that is gorgeous that is so pretty okay so it's between that one or that one hmm I'm going to go with a green because I think this might be a bit too much. Because the shell is this colour as well and so is the background and we've got quite a lot of tackles around the edges. So I'm going to go with this beautiful olive green colour. Um, and if anyone's interested, it's in the Chromatech and it is GN38. I don't know if you can see that very clearly there. But... um. Yeah, I'm going to use this on <clears throat> these leaves here on the side. Um, so, yeah, as I was saying, we do that um, for October. But I hadn't, like I said, I hadn't planned on anything for September. But looking at the books that I've pulled out that I want to colour in, 90% of them are hardback books. Um, now, I, if ever I do a colour along, I, I always try to do something that, um, you know, people can join in with. Um, of course, only if they want to. Um, so I was kind of thinking, should I do like a, um, September hardback you know, hardback book colour along. I, I don't know. I don't know. If I if I am, I need to figure something out, like 
pretty quick because it's the 29th today, 29th of August. So I've got like two days to figure out. Is this pen running out? I don't seem to be... I don't seem to be getting much from it. it seems a bit... Um, seems like it's struggling a little bit. Maybe it's because of the... Um, you know, the pastel, um, not the pastel, oh my gosh, the ink, the chalk ink, maybe that's what's doing it. Okay, well, we'll just, you know, we'll do what we can. Okay, so there's that side done. I don't know if you can see the sparkle or the colour, I don't know. So let's just move over to this side and do the same. <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't know, because I, I don't want people who haven't got hardback books to kind of feel, yeah, like um, excluded. So, I don't know. But if you if you like the idea of having like a colour along for your hardback colouring books for September, please let me know down in the comments. Some some feedback would be very much appreciated. Um, if it's easier, I can set up a poll on my community tab. Um, I can set that up later. And then... Um, you know, see what kind of colour along you guys would like for September. I mean, I know we've just done Hannah Carl's on, and obviously that's hardback books. But the ones I've pulled out, I've got like a few Hannah Carl's on. There was this one to finish this page, um, and Summer Nights to do the bad page, and then I've got Sagorok Sagna. Um, I've got Flora, um, let me see, Forest Girl 2 and um, Ivy and the Inky Butterfly by Johanna Basford. I know that's not a hardback but that's one of the books that I want to work in this month, or sorry for September. So yeah, I've, I don't know, I don't know, I might just put up a poll and see what you guys think. Okay, I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. Okay, how much ink have we got in this one? Okay, we might have enough. I'm going to use a gold Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic to do the frame. So, let's, let's get some sparkle on. I'm hoping this um this turns out okay. What I think I'm gonna do is just go around the edges like this first. It just gives me a guide then for when I'm adding the colour. If this pen runs out while I'm doing the frame, which I'm seriously hoping it won't, then I will have to quickly run upstairs and grab another one because the pencil case with my Pento Hybrids is upstairs, along with another case with my Jelly Rolls. So, but I'm thinking of amalgamating my gel pens into like one big case, so they're all in, in one place, instead of like separate, you know, dotted around, separate everywhere. So, what about you guys? If you have gel pens, how, how do you store them? How do you store them? Do you just keep them in like pots and pencil cases like me? Or do you have them all in one place? Or do you just have them in like a, a container? Sort of all mixed in together? I'd love to, love to hear and see how you guys store yours.
these pens so much. They are my absolute favourite gel pens. Oh, it's been so long since I've done a colouring chat. It feels um, a little bit strange but really lovely at the same time. I, I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah, it feels really nice to be <coughs> sat doing a colouring chat with you all. It feels really nice. I'm really sorry about this piece of card, but I just I'm trying to avoid smudging the the background if I can. I do definitely think we're gonna add some sparkles on here though. With the um oh what's it called? Paint paint glow or something like that it's it's like a face it's a face glitter that people use on their faces and skin like during festivals and things but um i ordered it from a lady on ebay she sells all like makeup and beauty things so i ordered it from there thinking this would actually be you know something really nice that i could use on my pages um so once my buying ban is up i'm gonna see what other colors she's got um, and there's some that I want to send out as gifts as well. Some little, you know, little goodie bags. I've got one that I've been meaning to send for weeks, but I've sort of added to it a few times. <laughs> um, but I'm hoping I can get that sent out soon. I feel so bad because I've I've kept the lady waiting for weeks. Hopefully you know who you are. <laughs> and I am really, really, really sorry. But I haven't forgotten you, I promise. The envelope with all the goodies in is over just behind me on my printer. So. Yeah, so I know it's there. I know it needs to be posted. I think we're going to be okay with the gel pen. I don't think it's going to run out. What I've done um, in my completed pages video this month is that once I've shown all the pages that I've coloured, I've also then at the end shown um, all of my empties. So it's just supplies that I've used up. But these are from like the last two months, two and a half months, because I forgot to show them. <clears throat> in um, July's video um, so obviously I had accumulated a bit more and there was a few other things upstairs but I completely forgot to bring them down but that's okay um, but yeah I first saw that on um, I think it was Nikki and Niagara I saw it on her channel and I thought oh that's a really you know really good idea so you know just be nice to show you guys that you know I do I do use up my supplies and and things and I must admit I can't believe I'm saying this but being on a no buy has it's actually been really nice um because I've been able to focus on the things I have um I don't know if, if that makes sense but yeah it's been it's been really nice actually I do miss you know, buying things and there's things I'm, I'm so desperate for like marker storage that is a big a big big thing that I'm really desperate for um but once the kids stuff is all done then that is what I'm going to be investing in And um, a couple bigger pencil cases as well. So, yeah, I think storage will be the, the next purchase that I make. So it won't be like books or supplies. There's, there's a few pens and things that I need to stock up on. So I'll probably do an order with Colt pens 
because there's quite a few pens I'm running out of. Um, oh, and then the other markers that I want to order is the um, Bic Intensity Ultra Fine Alcohol Markers. They have been so difficult to come across lately. They really have. They've been like gold dust. Um, oh, my finger keeps locking. It's really, it's really hurts. Um, yeah, they've been really, really difficult to try and find and get hold of. Um, but my beautiful friend Nikki, bless her, she said that they um, they do sell them on Amazon UK. But I think she ordered herself some, and I think she said they took a few weeks to get to her. Um, oh gosh. Um, yeah. So I'm, you know, if if push comes to shove, then I'll just. I'll order those and just, you know, wait for them to arrive. I just, I get impatient sometimes. <laughs> I don't know if you know the saying, but I do. It, especially if it's a supply, like, I don't have hardly any of the ultra fines left now because I use them so much. Um, I have fine and that, that's great, but, you know, the ultra fine I use for like little, little areas, little intricate spits and spots, you know. I use them a lot, so, but hey ho, if it takes a few weeks, it takes a few weeks, we'll see, but I'll, I'll, I'll have a look, I'll see if there's any other like art supply places, maybe like Jackson's Art or somewhere that may have them, so yeah, we'll, we'll see. Okay, we're getting there, guys. We're making progress. <clears throat> oh, this gold is so pretty. I was tempted to use the uni paint marker, but then I thought, no, because I still want the little bits on the frame showing through, and I know that that will happen with with these and also they're, they're sparkly so can't go wrong okay i don't know if i should do something to sort of like the background around it or just leave it as it is i'm not sure I'm trying to be sort of upbeat and, you know, positive and things because when I was listening to my last couple of videos back, my, um, I'll flip through of, which one? Oh, um, blah, 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 a million owls. It was a flip through of that and also my happy mail, um, video. I just, I sounded awful. I, I really did. I, it was so apparent that. I was struggling and I'm just trying my best to sound sort of more upbeat and positive in the videos that I've recorded today so please bear with me because I'm trying I'm trying I promise okay so let's zoom out a little bit I see where we are with this little guy okay so oh there is our sparkly border look at that oh that's gorgeous okay lovely um i don't think i'm going to color the edges i'm gonna add some sparkles hmm. i'm kind of um, i'm debating i think i want to but i don't have um I don't have like my tweezers or anything down here to do it. Let's see, I might have some in my, um, yeah, I've got some in my diamond painting kit. That'll, that'll work. Let's have a look. 
Okay, so let's just grab those. Second. <coughs> I'm just going to grab the um, the sparkles. Please excuse me, I've just shifted away from the desk a little bit. Um, yeah, those. And I'm going to give stickles a go. <laughs> I tried them once, just on like a piece of paper, and I struggled a little bit, and I kind of just admitted I gave up. These are the only stickles I have. But if I can find a way to make them work, then... I'd love to get some more because they're beautiful. The colour that I've got is Waterfall. And then these are the Paint Glow sequins that I was on about. So I've chosen some blue and some like pinky orange ones. Um, okay, so let's grab the Mod Podge. This is the Extreme Glitter Glue. I don't know if I need to give it a shake. I'll try it. Okay. And then I'll, what I'll do is I think I'll just grab a little bit sort of from the the lid. Um let's open the sparkles. Try not to get them everywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna lean those on the um piece of cardboard. I think I've used the blue ones more than anything, but I've still got so many. These little tubs, I think they were like two ninety nine each on eBay. Um, okay, so let's put some here on the fish. So as you can see, I'm just dabbing on some glue. And then I'm gonna grab some of these pinky ones. I'm just gonna sort of just lay them on that glue, push them down. If some come up in a minute, that's fine. Not Whoops, not overly concerned. Okay, that's quite a few there. Okay. So we're just adding a little bit of sparkle to him. Let's put a couple here on his scales. If I had sort of just regular PVA glue, then I would I would use that, but I don't. I need to get some really, but this is okay. Mod Podge works. Okay, so let's just sprinkle a few more on. If you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I might just zoom you in a little bit so you can kind of see a little bit better what I'm doing. just grabbing them and just laying them on that glue that we've put down there we go it's gonna be a very glamorous fish <laughs> and there we go okay yeah I like that and maybe a couple on his tail Do that and maybe there a little bit. I've got a little fly like flitting around and it's really getting on my nerves. Okay, so let's just get a load of these on there. Gosh. Okay. A bit too over enthusiastic grabbing the sequence then. <laughs> oh, that's all right. That's all right. 
never have too much sparkle. So what I'm going to do is once they've dry, I'm probably just going to dab a little bit more of the glue on top just to make sure that they're sort of sealed and stuck onto the page. So that's the pink ones. And I definitely think we need some blue. It's, I mean, it's, you know, it's a fish. She's underwater. We need some sparkles. So let's put some here. some blue ones these are so pretty when I turn them in a minute in the light they look kind of like um <clears throat> like iridescent or sort of holographic kind of that sort of feel to them they're, they're just stunning they're really lovely and I know that this is you know it's adding texture to a page and whatnot but oh I don't mind <laughs> my desk is covered in glitter Woohoo! <laughs> I'm not complaining. I love it. The more glitter, the better. Okay, let's just try and move those off the shell a little bit. There we go. And then let's put some sort of up here. Get a bit of glue. We'll put some here. Here, I think, look, look nice. And a few down there. There we go. Okay. Do, 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 do. Glitter them up. So for those of you, you know, who, who like adding things to your pages, what's, you know, what's your favourite sort of embellishment to add? Do you do you even like adding embellishments or do you do you rather not? Because this is something that I'm kind of pretty new to, to be honest, adding like glitter and things. Um, I think the first time I tried it was in my Mystic Art Mirrors um, book, and I used the pink glitter on um, like a yellow yellow skinned girl that I coloured. And I put the pink sparkles sort of up over her, like her shoulder and down her back. And it just, it looked so lovely. And ever since then, I was like, yeah, I wanna, I'm going to add more of this in, in my books and sort of experiment with different things, you know. That darn fly is getting on my nerves. Okay. Right, so the... I think the pink stuff is, whoops, is pretty much, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much dry. So what I'm going to do is just dab a little bit more of this just over the top to kind of seal them in, if, you know, if, if that makes sense. I, I don't know. I'll kind of seal them to the page. <laughs> stop them falling off I don't know whoops I'm actually lifting some of the sequins which I don't want to do okay let's try these blue ones let's just very very careful yeah I'm picking up some of the sparkles that's okay it'll it'll dry it will try. Okay, yeah, maybe I should have waited for this bit. Oh, well, it's too late now. Whoops. Okay. So, yeah, this will all, this will all dry. Let's just move some of that down here. Okay. 
Okie dokie. So let's put the lid on the Mod Podge and on the sparkles. Okay, I'm going to zoom out. Of course, you know, it's not going to look great for a minute because the glue hasn't, whoops, the glue hasn't dried. But I hope you kind of get the idea. Um, I don't know if you can see. There. And I wanted to try a little bit of the stickles. Um, I mean, like bubbles around the edges. Let's see if I can... Get it. Okay. I I don't know if I'm doing gonna be doing this right or not. I've never used this in a colouring book. This is my first time. So I'm just gonna try and like dot it like that maybe on these little bubbles. I don't know how much of this stuff you're supposed to use. But if this works then I'm definitely gonna be getting some more because it's sparkly. I don't know where the best place to get them from because sometimes on Amazon and eBay they can be quite, quite expensive. So please excuse me while I'm just turning the book around. I've got a glare from the window but I'll just have to go with it. <laughs> I'm not complaining, the sun's come back out, it looks gorgeous out there again now. <clears throat> what about you guys, what's the weather been like where you are? We had a few days where oh, it was just awful, really, really heavy rain, and it was so strange. Um, I don't. I think it was yesterday. One minute it was absolute glorious sunshine, the next it was pouring down, and it was all on and off like that all day. It was just it was really odd, really, really odd weather. And so, yeah, it certainly couldn't um, make up its mind what to do yesterday. I hope I'm doing this all right. Okay. The thing is, if you don't try, you never know. And I just, you know, I'm going to just let loose a little bit more. I've loosened up a lot with my colouring. Not put, you know, not put so much pressure on myself. Trying to not put any to be honest um oops um oh my gosh yeah try not to put any um pressure on myself if i can help it because it just it's just not good for my anxiety and stuff you know i'm sorry about the noise outside okay Right, I think I think we're done. Put a little bit more on that one. Okay. Okay. Oh wow, can you see this rainbow coming through? Look. Oh, look at this. Oh gorgeous. That is so pretty. Can you see that on the sparkles? Oh my goodness. I love it absolutely love it okay so here is our finished page woohoo we've done it yay i'm so sorry it was a little bit of a longer color and chat um i've not done a color and chat in what feels like such a long time so i do hope that you've enjoyed it Thank you so much for joining me and for everyone who participated in the HK colouring collaboration. Thank you so much. I have loved being tagged in your images on Instagram um, and seeing everyone's beautiful pictures. I really, really appreciate you joining me and Debbie for that colour along. Um, like I said, I will put a, um, a poll up on the community tab on the channel later. <clears throat> to see what sort of colour along you would like for September or if you have any suggestions please let me know at the minute I'm kind of thinking you know sort of a hardback book um kind of thing for September um but who knows 
who knows we shall see um but yeah a great big thank you for joining i hope you've enjoyed please take care stay safe and i'll see you all again really soon lots of love <laughs>